In this video, I will share a brand new tool pack for GTA 5 modders, which will help you install unlimited add-ons in the game with just a few clicks. This mods pack is called DLC List Auto Installer, and its work is to activate or add DLC code of all the add-on based mods in the game, such as player skins, brand new car packs, and even maps in the game. This mods pack is an absolute game changer, and in this video, I will show you how to install this. So, welcome to GTA Wood. Leave a like, subscribe, and let's begin. So this is the mods pack I was talking about. It's called DLC List Auto Installer. So download this from here, and I would like to give a massive shout out to the developer of this program. I request you to subscribe to them on YouTube to show your support for this extreme amount of hard work. Their channel link is in this video description. Now to install this brand new tool, we will need a mods pack. So let me first explain to you which mods pack we can install with the help of this tool. Let's explore the 5 mods website and let me show which type of mods you can use. So on the site, you can really find a lot of mods. For example, if we open the vehicle section, we have many cars which we can use, and you only need to look for mods packs which are add-ons. For example, this car here is an add-on and you just need to look for this word in either the title or the description of the video. Let's see what else we can use. We can also use maps. So let's open the maps section and scroll down to look for a map that is an add-on. Here we have this maps pack, and as you can read in the title, it is an add-on. So let's use this one map, and I believe you got the idea that you need a mods pack, which is an add-on. And this one is also tested on the enhanced edition, so I think it will be a perfect example for us to understand the usage of our mods pack. Now, because we are using this map, I would like to give a shout out to this map's modder, and I request you to support them the best you can. Alright, now there is one more thing you need, and that is OpenIV. I will guide you on how to use this as well, so download OpenIV if it is not installed on your computer already. Now let's install our DLC list auto installer, along with this wonderful map mod. So I already downloaded the files. The first file you see is the DLC list auto installer, which I got from this page. And the second file I got is our map, which I got from this page. Let's go back and you also need to open your game folder and put that to your left side of the screen. Here are all the locations where you can find your game folder. Now the first thing you need to do is to open the DLC list auto installer folder. Here you get this one tool file. Simply select this file, copy it, and I need you to paste this file directly inside the game folder. After you copy the tool, you need to right-click on it and you need to create a shortcut of this tool to your desktop, just like I am doing on your screen. Once that is done, minimize the game folder to access your desktop and there is a small step you need to do. This was the file we just put using the shortcut method. I need you to right-click on it and go to Properties. In this window, you need to go to the Compatibility section, and you need to check the option of Run this program as admin. Now the reason why we created a shortcut of this tool is just so it's a lot easier for all of you to use this tool directly from your desktop. But, there is still a very important step you need to do in order to use this tool every day without any problem. And I will explain that step later in the video when I will show you how to use this tool. But for now, I need you to go back in your downloads, and we will now install our Maps mod. This is the map we will install. And to install this, first we will need to copy this map's files to the game. And to do that, we will be using the OpenIV tool. Now if you do not have the OpenIV software, you can watch this video on your screen to install OpenIV for GTA 5 Enhanced Edition, and you can watch this video on your screen for the Legacy Edition. And if for some reason you have both editions of GTA 5 on your computer, you can watch this video on your screen to switch between GTA 5 editions and OpenIV without reinstalling the OpenIV on your Windows. But once you have your OpenIV, you need to open the software normally and place it to the left side of the screen. In OpenIV, the first thing you need to do is to turn on the edit mode from the top section. And now we will copy our map files. So open the folder and you need to open the SP folder. And this is the map file we will copy. Now in some cases you might get your mods folder directly, but it should be labeled as the name of the mod. Now in OpenIV, go to the update folder, open the x64 folder, and go to the DLC packs folder. Then you need to select the map folder from your mod and drag it directly to OpenIV. It should just copy the map and if we scroll down, here is the file we just copied. Make sure your edit mode was on, otherwise you won't be able to copy the files. Now before our DLC list auto installer tool, which we installed at the start of the video, we had to go in OpenIV and put codes and activate the mods pack. But now it's so much easier. And let me show you how. For now, you need to click on File from the menu and close OpenIV, and you can also close the Maps folder as we will now move to our next step. Now, if you like, you can open this tool from your desktop, or you can run this tool directly from the game folder. So we will just right-click on the file and select 
open file location, and it should open the game folder, and we can simply launch our tool from here. Once you open the tool, it should open this black command box and a Windows app selector pop-up for us to select the OpenIV software. Now for this instance, we cannot find the OpenIV tool here, even though it is installed on my computer. If you are also facing this problem, keep watching. But if you can already see OpenIV here, which should look something like this, you can skip to the timestamps on your screen to follow the next steps. To bring the OpenIV tool here in the Windows App Selector pop-up, you need to scroll down and click on the Choose an App option. Also guys, if you are on Windows 11, then you might face this Flickr problem when Windows 11 does not show you the App Selector folder. In that case, you just need to continuously click on the Choose an App option, and it will eventually show you the App Selector folder. Now from this window, you will need to select the OpenIV tool, and I will make this section very easy for you to understand. Simply press Windows R button on your keyboard to open the Run dialog, and you need to write Sent App Data Sent. You can also copy it from your screen, or I will leave this code in the video description. Hit OK, and it should open the roaming folder. You need to first go back one folder. Open this first local folder from here. Then you need to scroll down in this folder and look for a folder named New Technology Studio. And once you find it, you need to open this folder. Now you do see an OpenIV folder, but don't go there. You need to open the Apps folder, then open the OpenIV folder, and there you go, you got yourself the OpenIV tool. Now all you have to do is click on the address of this folder and copy it, just like I did on your screen. Now you can close this window, we no longer need that. And in our Windows App Select folder, we will paste the address in the search and hit the Enter button to open this location here. Now all you have to do is select the tool from here and open this. It should now show the OpenIV tool in the Windows App Selector pop-up. So just select the OpenIV tool and click on Always or just once. Now all you have to do is select Windows from your GTA 5 option, and this should activate our DLC List Auto Installer. Now this will only activate our DLC List Auto Installer, and we still need to use this tool to activate our map, which we installed at the start of the video. But the good news is, you will not have to activate the DLC List Auto Installer every time you open the tool. So let's close OpenIV and open the tool again to activate our Maps mod. So I have opened the tool, and you just need to select OpenIV from here. Maybe set it as always, and you will never see this pop up again. For now, we will just open it up and wait for the OpenIV tool to load up. And as you can see, this time it's not asking us to select the game option because we already activated the DLC List Auto Installer tool. Once it loads up, it should show you this wonderful install window. Simply hit the Install button, and then select the Mods option. We will now install this to activate our Maps Pack. It will take a few seconds, and do not worry if your DLC list file already has some mods in it, it will not mess with those. And once that is done, close the tool, and you can just hit the enter button on your keyboard to close this black command box. Alright guys, remember, you only need to do the hard work once, and for the rest of your life you will just need to copy your add-on mod to your game using OpenIV, and run the DLC list auto installer from your desktop, and it will automatically activate all your add-on mods. Before I show you some troubleshooting tips and share my personal thoughts, we will first check if the tools pack actually works. Let's check the DLC list file to see if the add-on code of our map is there. So I have opened the DLC list file using OpenIV, and as you can see it automatically generated the DLC code for our map that we installed. I want to make a few things very clear. Number one, I am not the developer of this tool, but if you are facing any kind of problem, feel free to write in the comment section and I, or anyone else in the comments who might have faced a similar issue, will guide you. Number two, if you are facing a problem and can't find a fix, I highly recommend you write your issue in complete detail on the 5mods official page of DLC List Auto Installer. But keep in mind, this is a free tool, and you are not paying anything to the developer, so be very respectful and have great patience when trying to contact the developer of this tool. Number 3. The mods you install with the help of DLC List Auto Installer will only activate the mods pack in your game files. You might still have to do additional steps while playing the game. For example, if you installed a car or a bike, you will need to spawn that with the help of a menu mod. And similar to that, if you are installing a different mods pack, let's say a skin or even a maps mod, just like we did, you might still have to spawn or enable that while playing the game with the help of either menu mods, or some mods might even come with a dedicated button for you to activate the mod. That is why when you are installing a mod, always check the description box of that mods pack to learn how the mods pack works in the game. To make your life easy, most mods packs can be enabled with the help of a custom activation button, which you press during the gameplay, or they can be activated using a menu mod. You can use the menu mod or the simple trainer mods pack, 
which also works with the GTA 5 Enhanced Edition. Alright, now when you are a ninja of GTA 5 modding, you can go and install many cool mods in the game. You can also join this channel to show your support and become a part of GTA Wood. Leave a like, subscribe, and join the channel to show your support. I've got an itch I can't scratch, I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me and open wounds scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round, welcome to the freak show, the best in town.